go. I don't even want to think about how much money I've invested into DCS World, and yet I barely have even touched it. That's something I'm going to try and put right. And you're welcome to join me as I learn all about these fantastic aircraft. We're going to start basic and build up the difficulty. We're going to go with the Flaming Cliffs. SU-27 flanker. We'll start there and we'll build ourselves up. Pretty cool that it shows you the key commands first, because uh, that way you can just copy them, I guess. Yeah. I don't so let's start up on X-56 software. Sounds like we're going to put most of this on here. So mode 2 is going to be my takeoff uh, and taxi controls. <laughs> Scary stuff. So much to think about already. Right shift and L to turn on electrical power. That's got to be up here. Right control and home. Take off and landing flaps with left shift and F. That's very simplified. You don't even have full flap control, it's just take off flaps, take off and landing flaps, and no flaps, I guess. The throttle I'm going to have to bind to an axis. Uh, rudder, again, we're going to have to bind to something. Now, slide it on, slide it on and off it off so it's okay so it's latched in that sense if I turn latched off and then it's either on or off so it becomes a switch that's not bad actually because there's like a fail safe to that then I have to turn it off before I can then turn it on so there's very little chance of me accidentally deploying the landing gear okay Got some frequencies here which I doubt we need to take into consideration yet. I'm th just working on the takeoff and the taxi. So I'm going to have to bind my throttle and my uh, rudders. Welcome to the SG 27 Flanker. The Flanker is one of the most dominant air security fighters in modern day combat aviation. Equipped with powerful sensors, weapons, and a data link, it is a match for any aircraft you may encounter in DCS world. In addition to its air-to-air -air capabilities, it can also perform a secondary ground strike role with unguided bombs and rockets. Before we start to blow things up though, let's first learn how to start up this bird and taxi to the runway. The first thing I'll ask you to do is turn on the electrical power by pressing right shift and L. Or, in our case, flicking this button. Ah. <laughs> Aha, I know what I did wrong there. Back to desktop. Okay. Back to this, because we now need to save as DCS SU-27. Save that. And then... That sounds good. It should work. Oh, With the electrical yeah. power now engaged, you can see that the heads up display, or HUD, comes to life, as well as many instruments and cockpit lights. Before moving the aircraft, make sure that more than three minutes have elapsed in order to let the horizontal situation indicator gyro to align properly. Now that you have power, let's turn on the navigation lights by pressing right, control, and L. Yeah, we've got some sort of conflict there with the joystick itself. So I'm going to have to solve that and um, set up a few other things as well. So, escape, just controls, SU-27. Uh, actually, it's going to be... Oh. You can't do it for all. Okay then, SU-27, uh, axis commands, pitch, it's picking up on the FMDs, that's good. So I like how you've got each uh, joystick 
it's weird how you've got so many things. FMD. Is there a way to clear all? So far, very happy. Clear all. Right, SciTech Pro Flight. Rhino Throttle. So we don't want that on there. Probably easier to clear it and then start again. RZ. Yep, that's working. We'll break left. I don't know. That one. We'll, we'll break right. Gonna be that one. Good. So, what time are we tracking on now? Seems to be working. We got some beeping. Try it. Next, let's close the yeah, canopy works. by pressing left, control, and C. Left, control, and C. We know our next that step is. is to start our two engines. Before you do so, make sure your throttle controller has a zero power setting. Zero start power. the left engine by pressing right, alt, and home. With the left oh. engine started, press right, control, and home to start the right engine. Oh, yeah. In the center of your front dash is the RPM engine gauge with two needles. When an engine is being started, one of the two green lights below the engine temperature gauge will light. Once the light turns off, it indicates the engine is ready for operation. In the lower left corner of the dash is an aircraft symbol that indicates the status of your flaps, landing gear, and air brake. Lower your flaps to the takeoff position by pressing left shift and F. That seems to be working. Excellent. This just feels incredible right now. You're now heading in the right direction. Keep your taxi speed around 20 kilometers per hour, as indicated in the top left corner of the HUD. As you taxi, use small, smooth that. rudder corrections to keep you aligned on the center of the taxiway. It's weird. As soon as you take the throttle off, it just stops moving. At right. the fork, hang a right to reach the runway. As we taxi, you can go to external view by pressing F2 and return to the cockpit by pressing F1. You can zoom in and out using the keypad star and forward slash keys. Rotate the views using the keypad directional keys. We've now reached the runway threshold. Taxi onto the runway to the right and align yourself down the length of it. Okay, so the cameras are controlled like so. Okay, so I can control that with my hat, hat switch. And F1 is to come back inside. I'm not going to mess about with that right now, but um, I'll have to bind those keys at a later date. Once aligned down the runway, increase the thrust of both engines to maximum and use gentle inputs of the rudders to keep you tracking down the center line. Increase speed to 250 kilometers per hour, and then gently pull back on the controller to allow the aircraft to fly itself off the runway. All right, here we go. I think it's got automatic brakes, that's what it feels like. Oh, rudder, 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 too much rudder, too much rudder. Here we go. Woohoo, baby! In the center of the HUD is the pitch and roll indication, and on the right side of the HUD is your pitch ladder and vertical velocity indication. Go ahead and raise to flat to press your left control and F. Left control and F. Did I do it? I don't know. 
Left control and F. No, I didn't do it. I'll need to point that. Pause. So, we've got that. Shift F. So, left control. Up. <clears throat> I'm starting to see a pattern here already. Left shift. Uh, shift and control. Up and down, as it were. Right, so we save that. Load the profile. Mission done. Uh, so escape, quit, I guess. Yeah. That's successful. Flight navigation, okay, things are gonna get vastly more involved. Uh, so the cameras, I've gotta set up the cameras. I don't know what to do with the cameras yet. Um, I'll probably put that in voice attack so I don't have to deal with it. I don't know, we'll see what I'll do there.